What if humanity's second chance was hiding right next door? Just four light years away, orbiting the dim red star Proxima Centauri, lies Proxima B, once hailed as Earth's twin, our backup world, a new home among the stars. But behind that promise lies something darker. Between us and that world stand walls of physics, danger, and distance that no ship can break. Tonight, we uncover why Proxima B will never be ours. When scientists announced Proxima B in 2016, the world went wild. Finally, an exoplanet in our cosmic neighborhood, circling Proxima Centauri, just 424 light years away. Headlines screamed, Second Earth Found. Researchers called it a world in the habitable zone, where water might flow. Its year lasts only eleven days, its size nearly identical to Earth's. On paper, it looked like a mirror of our own world, a potential paradise waiting to be claimed. But science is rarely that simple. Proxima B orbits so close to its star that it's likely tidally locked, one side eternally scorched by daylight, the other frozen in endless night. If liquid water exists at all, it might cling to a razor-thin twilight band between those extremes. Even so, the dream was irresistible. Could this be humanity's escape plan? Our new Eden across the void? Before we ask what it's like there, we must face the first impossible question. How would we even get there? Four light years. It sounds small a cosmic stone's throw. But distance plays cruel tricks. Light itself, the fastest thing in existence, needs over four years to cross that gap. For us, it might as well be forever. Voyager 1, humanity's most distant spacecraft, has been speeding through space since 1977. After nearly 50 years, it's covered only 0.05% of the distance to Proxima b. At that rate, it would take 70,000 years to arrive. 70,000 years ago, our ancestors were carving stone tools and dodging saber-toothed cats. By the time Voyager reached Proxima B, humanity might no longer exist. Even our most advanced rockets, NASA's SLS, SpaceX's Starship, barely changed that equation. A journey would still take tens of thousands of years. Distance isn't just a number. It's a wall that crushes imagination. So, what speed would make this voyage survivable? To reach Proxima B in 50 years, a ship would need to fly at 10% the speed of light. 30,000 kilometers per second. At that pace, you could travel from New York to Tokyo in less than a heartbeat. But the price is impossible. Accelerating even a one-ton craft to that speed would require more energy than all of humanity generates in a year. And you'd need just as much energy to slow down once you arrived. The math doesn't just strain possibility. It shatters it. And speed isn't the only nightmare. At near-light velocity, the universe itself becomes your enemy. Interstellar space isn't empty. It's filled with dust, gas, and invisible radiation. At those speeds, a grain of sand hits like a bomb, tearing through metal and armor alike. Millions of such impacts would shred a starship long before it reached its destination. Then there's the invisible killer, cosmic radiation. Outside our solar system, high-energy particles flood space like a storm of invisible bullets. Here on Earth, we are protected by our atmosphere and magnetic field. Out there, astronauts would be roasted alive. The obvious solution? Shielding. But every layer of protection adds mass. And the heavier the ship the harder it is to accelerate. 
Shield it, and it won't move. Leave it bare, and it dies. A perfect no-win scenario. So, what kind of engine could ever take us there? Scientists have dreamed up some of the boldest propulsion concepts imaginable. Fusion drives, powered by the same reactions that fuel the sun. They could, in theory, burn hotter and longer than anything we've built. But we still haven't mastered fusion on Earth, let alone in deep space. Antimatter engines, where a single gram releases energy equal to a nuclear bomb. Theoretically perfect, practically impossible. We can barely produce a few atoms, and storing them safely is a ticking bomb. Light sails, vast sheets pushed by lasers from Earth. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot dream of sending microprobes this way, racing at 20% light speed. But those probes would be no bigger than postage stamps. Too fragile to carry people, too vulnerable to survive the journey. Every idea is beautiful, breathtaking, and utterly broken by reality. And even if we somehow solve propulsion, there's one last cruel truth. Proxima B itself might not want us there. That habitable zone is a promise written in fine print. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, smaller and cooler than the sun, but far more violent. It unleashes stellar flares hundreds of times stronger than our solar storms. They can strip atmospheres, bake oceans, and sterilize worlds. If Proxima B ever had air and seas, they may already be gone. What's left could be a scorched, irradiated wasteland. If any atmosphere survives, it might be toxic, thick with carbon dioxide or deadly chemicals. Its gravity is stronger than Earth's, making every movement a strain. Instead of a paradise, we might find a graveyard world. Even unmanned missions face the same wall of time. Breakthrough Starshot's laser sails could reach 20% light speed, astonishing. Yet the trip would still take 20 years. Then four more years for the signal to return. A quarter century for a few images and data points. Now imagine sending humans. Generations would live and die aboard the ship before ever seeing Proxima B. It wouldn't be exploration, it would be exile. A migration across eternity with no promise of survival. So why do scientists still dream of it? Because Proxima B isn't just a destination, it's a question. Red dwarfs are the most common stars in our galaxy. If life can endure their flares, tides, and chaos, then life could thrive almost anywhere. Even if Proxima B is hostile, it teaches us what's possible. Where to look, what to expect, how life might adapt under alien suns. Proxima B may never become humanity's second home, but it might hold the key to proving we're not alone. In truth, space isn't just big. It's beyond comprehension. Proxima B is our nearest neighbor, yet the gulf feels infinite. Our rockets are ants crawling across a continent. We're trapped within our solar system by walls made not of steel, but of distance, time, and physics. Proxima B isn't just another planet. It's a mirror showing how small we truly are and how fragile our ambitions look against the void. And yet, humanity has always broken its limits. Flight was once impossible. Space travel was fantasy. The moon unreachable. We conquered them all. Perhaps one day we'll master fusion, harness antimatter, or discover something beyond our current imagination. When that day comes, Proxima B might shift from unreachable dream to frontier. Until then, it remains a distant reminder of how vast the universe is and how far we still have to go. Proxima B dares us to dream bigger. 
Maybe it doesn't exist to host us, but to challenge us, to remind us that the universe is both brutal and beautiful, hostile and full of wonder. We may never set foot there, but perhaps that's the point. Proxima B whispers across the dark. Go further, dream harder, reach for the impossible. And if that journey lit a spark in you, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell, because the next frontier might be stranger than anything we've ever imagined.